ladies of Lighthouse. I hope you're doing okay during this crazy time. I'm happy to have this opportunity to share God's word with you. I will be sharing to moms with younger children, but the truths that I'm sharing will really apply to all ladies. So moms, how have you been doing? Maybe at the beginning of the stay at home order, things were nice. Maybe you enjoyed the slowed schedule, the canceled events, and more time to get things done around your home that you normally don't have time to do. And now that we're entering into our third month at home, maybe you are getting a little itchy for things to go back to normal. Maybe at this point, you are getting tired of being cooped up all day in the house, not seeing friends and family, cleaning and cooking nonstop, kids constantly asking to play video games or watch TV, kids fighting, not loving one another, and maybe things are just getting rough. If this is you, I want to share some truths from God's word that I hope will encourage your hearts. I am going to share some truths that I wish I knew and meditated on more when my kids were young. I will share how these truths apply to this unique COVID time we find ourselves in as well. As I was thinking back on my time at home when my kids were young, my mind flooded with feelings and memories. When my kids were very young, I had a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and a baby. Our kids are very close in age. So during that time, it felt a little similar to the time now where we find ourselves staying at home. Because my kids were so close together, it was hard for me to leave the house by myself. So many times I would just stay home. But after a while, I would feel a little stir crazy with changing diapers, cleaning up messes, feeding kids, and trying to keep them busy all day. During that time, God was gracious to help me through the craziness, but it was actually kind of a blur. But I do know that I would come to certain points where I felt like it was just too hard. I would get frustrated easily, not having much joy, and be discontent um, with how my life was at the moment. I would come to points where it was hard to do the same mundane things over and over. And at other points, I would just feel overwhelmed with all the things that I needed to do. I know that in these times, I would, have, I would often find myself trying to find my hope in changed circumstances. I would think, I can't wait until my kids are potty trained, or I can't wait until nap time so I can rest. I can't wait to be alone, or I can't wait until I have a vacation. I would find comfort in, in ideas like, this is just a season and it will change. But through all these thoughts, you can see how I was finding my hope in changed circumstances. I thought I would be happy when my kids would be out of, out of the young stage or when I would get to take a break. And yes, it is true that my life has gotten a little easier in the sense that my kids don't need me to take them to the bathroom and I don't need to change their diapers. But the real truth is, is that I needed to find my hope in God and not in what I thought was an easier life. Along the same lines, because I wanted my circumstances to change, I would lash out at my family to make them change. Sadly, during this intense time in my life, I found myself taking my frustration and my anger out on Kim and my kids. I would blame Kim for my hardship by arguing he was too busy with work. I would take out my frustration on my kids by disciplining them in anger. And sadly, I reaped the negative consequences of my relationships not being what they could have been, all because of my idol worship of a life of comfort and my misplaced hope. And how does this apply to the situation we find ourselves in today? It's very similar. During the COVID season, there are days and moments that feel overwhelming. When I have to work, homeschool my kids, keep my house clean, venture out of the house to get groceries with the fear of getting sick, hearing bad news about people being sick, helping with ministry, and all the while trying to honor the Lord, it can be challenging. And during these moments that are overwhelming, I unfortunately find myself falling into the same pattern. It's easy for me, easy for my heart to be discontent with all that I have to do. I find myself finding hope in changed circumstances again. I am thinking things like, I can't wait until COVID season is over. I can't wait until, until things go back to normal, or I can't wait until we can go out without face masks and hang out with people. 
Does this sound familiar? And sadly, I still find myself looking to blame my challenging circumstances on those around me, which at this time happens to be my family. It's easy for me to take out my frustration on my husband and kids. And even though my circumstances are hard in certain respects, it doesn't give me permission to be unkind, harsh, or to place blame on others. In light of these sins and mistakes in my life, I wish I could go back and counsel my younger self with the truths that are helping me today. First, I would encourage my younger self to find my hope in God alone and not in changed circumstances. I would remind myself that God is good in all things. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. God is good even in three young kids and many responsibilities. Second, I wish I had remembered more that God is loving. God is loving me in everything that happens in my life. Lamentations 3.22 says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases and His mercies never come to an end. Even in my darkest times, God is showing love to me by bringing me through all the circumstances I find myself in for a loving purpose and reason. It might not feel like God is loving me during long periods of time where my life is not going the way I want, but I can trust that He is. Not only is God loving me in my trials, He's even using them to grow me to become more like Him. Romans 3 or 5, 3 through 5 says, More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. I wish I had trusted that God was using the period of time in my life when my kids were little to grow my character and persevere in my walk, um, perseverance in my walk with the Lord. And lastly, I really wish I had contemplated and trusted the fact that God is enough. We sing in church, all I have is Christ. But even though I was singing this, I wasn't living this. I was living in a way that showed I needed a more comfortable life with less kid stuff to do, with less stress or less mess. But I wish I had remembered that I really do have all I need in Christ. Lamentations 3.24 says, The Lord is my portion, says my soul, therefore I will hope in Him. Even though it didn't feel like I had everything I needed, I really did because I had a life in Christ. I had salvation, God's word to guide me, God's strength, and His promises. Just think how different my life would have been if I used my energy to dwell and meditate on these promises and characteristics of God. It would have been very different. I would have been content. I would have had peace with the circumstances I found myself in, and I could enjoy and savor them more. I would have been able to be more loving to my family. I do wish I could go back and counsel myself, but like we have been reminded, God is good and had me go through that season for a good reason. So how does this apply to today? It applies directly. I was walking the other day and I found myself thinking, I can't wait until stay-at-home orders are lifted. I can't wait until my life goes back to normal. I can't wait until I can go on vacation again. I was finding hope in changed circumstances again, but I was gently reminded by our Heavenly Father that my thought should be, it would be nice to have these things, but I trust you, Father, no matter what. You have me here with the kids who need discipline in a dirty house and a confined to our home for a good purpose. Help my heart to be thankful and joyful. Please help me to learn what you want to teach me. Please help me to have true satisfaction in you alone, especially in hard circumstances and when I don't get my way. And please help me to grow to trust you and your loving plan for my life and to find hope in you alone. Ladies, may this be all of our prayers as we dwell on our loving Heavenly Father and His Word. I am praying that these chal this challenging season you find yourselves in would be a blessing and a treasure time in your life.